we got the call from Steve Wright at the J Bar J Ranch outside of Clarendon, Texas, about a special hunt he was going to do. You see, this is Steve here, pictured with Matt Hicks. And they were going to do a Oryx hunt. And you talk about a cool opportunity. And there was no way the Fat Boys were going to miss this hunt. Welcome to Fat Boy Hunting. Today we got Jonathan Vanderham and Steve Wright, and we are at the J Bar J Ranch. And Steve, as you know, there's nothing like the J Bar J. Best in oh, Texas. Oh, man, it's here. It's the but best there is. And Jonathan, he is on a trophy Oryx hunt. And this is your first orcs you've ever tried to take? Yes, sir. You've got to be excited. Yeah, a little bit. We're chasing them. We're stalking them. If it runs, we're shooting a gun. Today, it happens. Jonathan laying the smack down on some orcs. J Bar J Ranch, best in Texas. There's one thing about orcs. If you've ever had a chance to hunt them, you know these may be the toughest animals that you'll ever chase. And, and I mean chase. You know, we tried to put a spot and stock on them. We were real fortunate to have some good cover. And uh, these things, I'm telling you what, they're not gonna sit still long. So if you get an opportunity, you better do it. So Matt got us all set up in the trees. We had a good range on them. We were about at 150 yards and they weren't having any of it. They were gone quick. So we decided we had to make something happen really fast. Okay, so we had a chance to get up in this ground blind and we jumped in it and that's when things got exciting. The Oryx came filing through on the other side of the field, and Jonathan, he was about to put the smack down on him. The last one walked. Stopped and looked at us. Boom! Boom! Jonathan! Had a boy, Jonathan. Hey, hey, man. Hey, you got him, brother. Good job. You got him, man. That's how we do it, fat boy style, right there, man. <laughs> fat boy hunting. <laughs> There's nothing better than being out in the woods, the outdoors, with family and friends, and Jonathan today. And was able to take this beautiful oryx. He'll remember that forever. But I'll tell you what we're gonna remember forever is after the hunt, you know, we got everybody together back at the bunkhouse at the J Bar J, which is just truly amazing. But Zach, he was cooking something special out of the old copper pot outside. Man, it was good. Zach, what are we cooking, baby? So this is copper pot. This is copper pot, copper pot straight out of Chihuahua, Mexico. Authentic Hispanic food. Puerco de asado. Coming you live from J Bar J Ranch. Fat boy hunting. <laughs> now that is right there. That's how we do it, fat boy style, right there, KP. Can't yeah, miss me. All right, Zach. What we got? Well, Look at that. We think KP. Oh, okay, I'm gonna say this so I don't offend any of our viewers. <laughs> work, work me through the title again. Puerco. Puerco. De. De. Asado. 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 I'm gonna put it all together. You ready? <laughs> Puerco de asado. Ay, ay, ay. ay, 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 ay. Oh man, I could kiss you. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Thank God. Man, that is freaking awesome. It's good. That is awesome stuff. Porco de la Sardo. Puerco. 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 That meal out of the copper pot was absolutely amazing. But you need to stick around after the break to find out if old KP can put a busting on one of these Oryx. You work with Case Equipment? You heard about ASCO? getting service somewhere else. ASCO is a new name you need to know for Case. For 50 years, ASCO has offered the right equipment the way you need it. If you're looking for options to try it, buy it, rent it, or service it, you found the place. And we're the home of genuine Case parts and service. ASCO is your place for Case. The best place in Texas to talk hunting is at the Texas Hunting Forum. Check them out today at www.texashuntingforum.com where you're going to find all your information about Texas hunting. Got pictures you want to share? Share them right here on the Texas Hunting Forum. Need to find out information or a tip about hunting? Well, they've got that for you too. It's all right there, easy for you to find at the texashuntingforum.com, www.texashuntingforum.com. Check them out today and tell them the Fat Boys sent you. 
At Clinton Sons, we've been making beef jerky for a long time in White Deer, Texas. We always do this with premium locally raised beef, delicious spices, and a true passion for our product. Whether you like regular or hot, chili lime, sweet honey barbecue, or beef sticks, Clinton Sons has got you covered. Our premium beef jerky is available at all area United Supermarkets and Tootin Totems. Plus, visit our website to see where you can get our beef jerky in your town. No matter what you're doing, we hope you find some small town comfort with Clinton Sons Beef Jerky. The J-Bar-J Ranch near Clarendon, Texas is a true Texas wildlife paradise. The J-Bar-J Ranch offers guided whitetail hunts, exotic game hunts, and bird hunts on a pristine and well-managed habitat. First-class lodging and accommodations are available for your two-and-a-half-day guided hunt, and it features comfortable rustic rooms and a large common area for dining and relaxing between hunts. Don't wait one more minute. Book your hunt at the J-Bar-J Ranch today by calling 806-467-9566. One thing that I'm going to have to start remembering when we go on these hunting trips is don't leave the camera where KP can find it first thing in the morning because you know you're going to get harassed. Hey, stop. What are you doing? It's time to rise and shine. Yeah, that's scary to wake up to a big hairy bald man on top of me. What is this? And he had a good time making fun of my deer print pajamas, so I thought it's got to get better. Let's go over to the bunkhouse. Gotta have some coffee ready. Count on your trusty hunting guide to have coffee made. And it's got about that much in it. You need some. <laughs> All these guys in these hunting shows that act like they're so spry in the morning when they wake up. They're, they're full of them. I got sleepy to about right there. And then. So while I got the coffee pot finally up and running, and we all sort of staggered around and grabbed us a cup and got ready to go out. Then, you know, we decided, well, hey, you know, it's not a hunt unless we paint our faces. Oh, my goodness. I'm liking the hair. I like the hair. Just naturally out of it, you know what I'm saying? You gotta go this far back with the camo paint. <laughs> you just look like you got a bunch of mud on your face. <laughs> it, it's not supposed to be like pretty. <laughs> you, know, you see these guys, these hunting shows, they got it all in stripes. Like, what does that do? You gotta look like you're part, part of the of, earth. Look like, like you rolled earth. around the mud. <laughs> <laughs> got pink pen here from the yeah. ground with us. Got some wrinkles. There's no doubt about it, man. We love to have a good time when we get together. And another thing we love is the J-Bar-J Ranch right outside of Clarendon, Texas. Any time that Steve Wright and his family invites the fat boys to the J-Bar-J, I'm telling you what, we're going. Because this place, folks, is simply amazing. You know, this Axis deer right here, and there's another one that's about to come in behind him that's, that's going to be a monster someday. I mean, it is the place to be. So Wiley and I decided we were going we were going to try to bow hunt. And so we got good and set up in the bow blind. I mean, we had a great spot. Things didn't work out too good for us that morning in the boat, but anytime you can get in it, and it's a blast. Now, hold on. Now, no, hold on now. You're peeking out that window, but a while ago, what'd you have in your hands? You pulled out your phone, but what'd you have to put on to even see the phone? My glasses. <laughs> <laughs> That's what happens when you get old. We had this one really nice group of deer come into the bow blind. But you know, we were looking for fallow deer, and we were looking for oryx. So these guys, you know, they get a free pass that day, but how awesome is it to be able to sit out and be 20 or 30 yards from these amazing animals, and they not even know we're there. We, we just love doing that. So, but you know, it's, it's time to get back to business. It's time to go find some, some oryx or some fallow, and, and it didn't take long to find the oryx. These oryx, man, they are so tough to hunt, and they're so fast. And, you know, we're going to try to put a stalk on them, but, I mean, that is so much easier said than done. You've got to be quick. you got to be smart, and you got to be a little bit lucky. These guys busted us real quick. They made a run for it. So we decided we were going to we're gonna try to cut them off at the pass, and that's when things just got absolutely awesome.
<laughs> hey, that's how we do it, fat boy style. Boom, yeah. You folded him like a blanket, baby. I tell you what, you just don't drop in the works like Wiley did. Man, he put the smack down on that one, and it was just really cool to watch. And it was really cool to watch him get to experience awesome. this with his son, FBO Pro Staffer Matt Hicks, and that father-son relationship. You know, that's something that's just awesome. They're going to cherish that forever. And we were so lucky to be a part of that. Make sure you stick around after the break. KP, he's going to see if he can take out an Oryx. To find out more about Fat Boy Outdoors and the Fat Boy Nation, visit us online at facebook.com slash fatboyoutdoors or www.fatboyoutdoors.com. Come on over. You can be part of the Fat Boy Nation. <laughs>